Good morning, everybody. Let's take these guys out. Let's see what the weather's like out here. Thinking about uh, taking the bike in. Come on, guys. Come on, Chevy, this way. Come on, bud. In the yard. Thinking about maybe taking the bike into work today. There wasn't supposed to be any rain today, but now I checked the forecast this morning, and of course it changed. There's a 50% chance of rain this afternoon. <sighs> I'll probably take the truck in today. Ah, that way I can listen to my podcast on the way into work, too. I don't have my audio set up in my helmet or anything. I'd love to get a helmet where I could have some audio set up on the bike, but... Usually when I'm on the motorcycle, I don't want to listen to music anyways. I just want to enjoy the ride. But, uh... The sky's looking good today. Apparently this afternoon, some showers might be coming in, but... It's going to be a good day anyways, right? We'll see. I got a little bit of time here to wake up, have a coffee, eat breakfast, and, uh, make our decision if I take the truck or the bike. got a step deck behind us today. It's one of our older ones. They don't have the sliding ratchets, but that's okay. We'll work work around that. Just making sure our airbags are filling up back here. There they go. They're already lifting. It's good. We have air in all the tires. ABS lights off. Marker lights are on. Signal lights are working. What more could you want from a trailer, right? First thing in the morning. So I didn't take the bike into work today. Maybe I should have. But apparently, just before I left, they changed the forecast from raining this afternoon to thunderstorms starting around 4 o'clock. Right around the time I'd be going home, between 4 and 5, or between 4 and 6. And then the thunder, star thunder showers are supposed to end at about 8 p.m. So from 4 to 8, thunder showers, over a 50% chance. I'm betting nothing happens. But I took the pickup in today anyways, because I don't want to get soaked on my way home. I have electronics with me, obviously, here. And I even if I have them in my backpack or wherever I put them, I don't want to risk getting them wet and soaked on the way home, riding home in a thunderstorm. So tomorrow is supposed to look like it's going to be better. Uh, tomorrow's Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday are both, both so far supposed to be sunny and hot all day. So I'll probably ride in for the rest of the week after today. Spent the morning shining up what I could on the truck. <laughs> you know, she doesn't shine much, but what can shine will shine. Remember I called that GT40 or the Ford GT, I guess it's called, a GT500? I was wrong. I was corrected by many, many people in the comments section. This is a GT500. I don't know why I misspoke, but... That red car was a just a GT. That's what a GT500 looks like, and it's... Gorgeous. Look at this line. It says it right there, see? GT500. I wish I was taking this one home. Sitting out here looking good. Is a hard top convertible, I guess? Or does it just look that way? No, that looks like a no, it's just it just looks that way. Just the way these cars were made back then. Kinds of cars here today. Look at this. What's this? 442. Oldsmobile 442. 
Nice. You guys want to see something really weird? It's a BMW a Vixen 21. What is this? The party bus. I guess. <laughs> I didn't have to go very far with the trailer. Just took it onto the west side of Winnipeg and uh, dropping it here and bobtailing up to St. Laurent to have a trailer I gotta pick up there and bring back here as well. And then I hear that there's two trailers in Selkirk that I may need to pick up yet. They might send someone else. We'll see how fast I can get those done. If I can find my gloves or not. <sighs> there they are. Had them beside my seat. Silly me. All right, so uh, I'm just gonna leave it here with its friends. I don't know what they're gonna do with it, but I don't really care either. I'm sure they're gonna put stuff on it. And then one of us is gonna come and pick it up. Seems to be the way things goes. Things goes. Things go. Things goes. Things. It's still too early. Bridge construction. I've always thought that'd be kind of an interesting job. But you gotta know what you're doing. What if you're working on the bridge and you hammer away at the wrong thing and it falls through? <laughs> you never know. What do I know? I don't know anything about building bridges or fixing them. I just drive on them. Well, this morning was pretty uneventful, but uh, moved a couple trailers around. I'm now back at the air and hooked up to a box. I'm checking the weather here. And uh, the weather forecast has changed a little bit as it always does. There's still a chance of rain, but the chance of rain has gone from 50% up to 79%. And it's gonna start at 6 p.m. So I might be able to have ridden home. Depends how long I'll be working tonight, right? It's a uh, quarter to 20 to three right now. Tomorrow, there's like 8% chance and 7% chance on Thursday. It's going to be really hot. Friday is going to be very, very hot. 37 degrees Celsius uh, with very little chance of rain. So the next, the rest of the week, I'll probably be riding the motorcycle into work. But uh, all looks good. All right, so let's go see what we have. You guys ever wonder what you look like on my head? I'll give you a little behind the scenes footage. That's you. <laughs> I don't look ridiculous, you look ridiculous. <laughs> so I wiped down all the chrome, like I was telling you before, and I got some bugs on it this morning already. Again, I have to wipe those off. I know she doesn't shine a lot, she's not very shiny, but like I said before, the little bit and the few pieces that can shine, will shine. At least I'll take care of what's left of it, right? <laughs> Alright, so I've done the pre-trip on this trailer already, uh, I just want to check inside. That's one thing I didn't do before, so all the lights are working, tires are full of air, nothing's hanging off of it, trailer, trailer safety. And uh, I just want to go in here and see if we got a clean trailer. What do you guys think? Will it be clean? Dana, 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 dana. Another clean trailer. Wow. I must say, I must say, every trailer I have hooked onto in the last like month or so at least has been clean. So maybe we just went through a bad stretch. It's probably winter time when it's cold. You know, we all get a little bit, uh, I don't want to say lazy, but we all get a little bit rushed in the cold weather. We all want to run back to the cab and stay warm in the cab. We don't want to stay in a cold trailer and sweet. I, I get it, but we're still supposed to. But maybe that's why, I don't know. That's just my thoughts. I do want to give a thumbs up to everybody. We've all been keeping the trailers nice and clean. Okay, so I gotta bring this thing into Winnipeg and uh, pick something up and bring it back here. And a highway driver is gonna take it to where it needs to be. Exciting stuff, I know.
Another thumbs up to the yard guys here who have been organizing everything in the yard since the weather's gotten nice. This whole area over here that used to be just scattered all over the place with all kinds of stuff. Someone right over there uh, working on it right now. Every day it keeps getting cleaned up, keeps looking better. Uh, everything's all organized now. They're loading it on trailers. I don't know if they're hauling it away or just storing it, but it's, it's organized. It looks so much better. So the yard's looking better. The trailers are looking good and clean been good it's been good let's uh make sure we keep this momentum going i'm gonna keep uh sweeping out the trailers myself too doing my part look at this guy here look at him dressed up in a jets uniform he's <laughs> a santa claus <laughs> i told you santa's a jets fan go jets go construction that's what's going on here that makes sense I don't even know why I questioned it. I was like, what's going on here? Why is there so much traffic? Nah, of course it's construction. And look at look at how much work they're doing on the other side there. Look how hard they're working. Not even a single pylon on the other side. <laughs> oh, but at least then, you know, the intentions are good. They got everybody under this side so that that side's clear. And eventually they'll work on it. <laughs> so we're on Nairn Avenue right now for those of you who care uh, we're facing eastbound so I'm going up over uh, into Elmwood there's downtown over there that new Winnipeg skyscraper coming up there they're getting pretty good progress done on it already looks like it's the new tallest building in Winnipeg which means that it's the tallest building in Canada between Toronto and Calgary. I know. Don't want to brag or anything, but Winnipeg is kind of a big deal. Kind of a big deal. Not only are we the crime capital, we also got uh, big buildings, all 35 stories of them. Winnipeg was supposed to be a big center hub uh, for the West, for Western Canada, but that sort of got transferred over to Calgary and Edmonton. For some reason, we lost our title. Just turned on to Watt Street northbound. We're here at Talbot Avenue. I'm pretty hard on Winnipeg, I know. I know. But talk to anybody from here and they'll agree with what I'm saying. We love our city, but uh, she's flawed, just a little. Oh my, that bumper needs some work there, bud. Oh dear, I bet you he hit a deer with it, oh dear. Yeah, we're just going around the corner up here and uh, picking up some freight, not too sure where it's going yet, but we're gonna put it in the box and bring it back. Hoping that this uh, kid is watching. The light's turning green right away, bud. You shouldn't have crossed, oh boy. Yikes, didn't even look. Oh, see, it works so much better when you use the crosswalk with the flashy lights, you see? The crossing guard with the flag, much safer. Well done, children, well done. This is our one tight corner. Gotta make it around this and not drag our trailer into the pole. That is the goal. Look at that. Didn't even touch the curb. Like a boss. Thirty kilometers an hour in the school zone. Even though no one's in school right now, they're all. Uh, I think they're remote learning now. I. Have, it's hard to keep up with all the new things going on and all the. Everything keeps changing all the time. It's sort of off in my own world a lot of the time. Uh, to, uh, try to pay attention. I think the kids might be remote learning right now. In Winnipeg anyways. And Steinbacks are still going to the school. At least I think so. What do I know? I'm going 30 kilometer an hour regardless. I don't know if there's kids here or not, but... Just in case. Just in case. 
There's some parents waiting outside, so I'm guessing I'm guessing school is in session. Oh, oh, okay. You can go first. There you go. Oh, okay. Oh, now I can't go. All right, you uh. You put me in a nice little situation there, bud. Thanks. Thanks. All right, I'm going for it after this. Is this person going to wait? If not, they're going to have to back up. They're not going to wait. They're not going to wait. They're going right up to the stop line. You saw me coming, man. All right, we made it work. We made it work. All good. All good. Just like in hockey, keep your head up. Especially when you're coming up to an intersection, keep your head up, see, see what's going on. All right, we're just about to our destination here. I'm gonna put the stuff in the trailer, lock her up, and I'll talk to you after. And you see, I made the right decision today, not riding my motorcycle to work. I was second guessing myself. Well, that's good. We'll be done once we get back to the yard. It's 10 to 5. We'll get back to the yard probably around like 5.30. Gotta go through rush hour traffic now. But uh, at least I know that I didn't lose out on a day's ride. Usually a little rain wouldn't bother me that much, right? But like I told you before, I have all these electronics with me and I, I can't afford to let them get wet in my backpack. And I don't have any compartments on that bike either. Another reason why I sort of wanted a cruiser motorcycle was so that I could have uh, maybe some saddlebags, you know, or or something that I could wrap it in a plastic, you know, wrap my electronics in a plastic bag, keep it in there so it doesn't get wet. You know, I could ride in weather like this a little bit. Not that I want to ride in the rain that much. Nobody likes riding in the rain. But yeah, there's there's only one small storage compartment on my bike and that's underneath the rear seat and there's just enough room in there for about I don't know the the owner's manual that's about it we'll see maybe I can get myself onto uh, more of a cruiser sometime yet we'll see what happens first I gotta get out of this traffic Where's that Jeep think it's going? You still got a red light, man. Okay, we're moving up, we're moving up. Don't, don't, don't. Yeah, people. Okay. Okay. Now don't take my lane. That space there is for me. Bugs me when I'm waiting at an intersection like that. I'm waiting for enough space for my truck to fit, right? And just as I start rolling into the intersection, like two or three cars cut in there and block my lane and fill it up so that now I'm stuck in the intersection blocking the intersection. You know what I'm talking about? Again, you gotta keep your head up. Look around. Oh, there's a big truck coming. He needs that space. It's starting to come down pretty good. Look at this. Man, I'm really glad I'm not riding home now. That'd be a miserable ride home. Now I get to sit inside my pickup truck, you know, choose my own climate. Maybe I'll be cold and I'll want some heat. Maybe I'll be hot and I'll want some air conditioning. You know, I have the options now that I'm in my pickup on the way home. The air conditioning in this truck is working great too. And icicles are gonna start forming on the top of my cab here. I love it. I like it cold. Just not wet. Wet and cold, bad. I don't like to be wet when I'm cold. <laughs> I am picky, aren't I? <laughs> well, nothing too big, just uh, half a house rolling down the road after work. Oh, here comes the other half. Anyone order a house? It's on the way, Amazon delivery. crazy how they I've been seeing them move down this highway more and more I wonder where they're coming from like did they come from Steinbach there's not much down the 59 here we got St. Pierre then we got St. Malo we got like Rose River that whole area and then you hit the U.S. you get uh, to Lancaster Minnesota it's probably because from Steinbach I bet or maybe Grunthal I wonder who's building houses out there 
kind of a crazy time to be pulling a house down the road in the middle of rush hour, but oh my, not like I'm a trucker or anything. Like, what would I know about traffic patterns? I would have pulled it through here at night, to be honest with you, or if you have to go during the day, I would have gone between, I don't know, 10 a.m. to 12. That two hour period would probably be best. But after lunch, you get the early goers that get to leave work early, they get on the road. At lunchtime, you get all the lunch people going to get their lunch break. But between like, you know, 10, even nine to 12, you know, everyone's pretty much at work by that point and they're in the morning rush. Roads are clear. But around now, around six o'clock, well, you're getting the tail end of rush hour. I mean, it's not like they're coming through here right at five o'clock, but. I wonder who makes those decisions or if they even think about it or do they just you know whenever we're ready we'll just give her i don't care if it's in the middle of the highest traffic volume time i don't care we're just gonna give her I, even after this like at uh seven o'clock to nine o'clock this time of year it's still bright outside whatever yeah it's just my idea my 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 inner thoughts being broadcast to the world through youtube welcome to my brain it doesn't have to make sense. What do you guys think? I mean, this is a two lane road. It's not like it's a busy interstate. It's not like it's the, what is that freeway between Chicago, like Gary, Indiana and Indianapolis? What is it, the I-65, right? That highway is nuts. That's nuts. This is, this is nothing. This is a little farm road compared to that. But I could have ridden my motorcycle to work after all. Because as you can see, the rain is over there now. It's so confusing. You know, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. Tomorrow, we're taking the bike to work. I don't care. 